The man whose business card has changed more often than just about anyone's over the last couple of months, Hilton Head's interim town manager, still interim, Josh Gruber, who has just finished up the town council's annual retreat held here this year on the island, is joining us. Let's talk about planning for the upcoming year, Josh. Uh, we mentioned in the headlines the delay in the final plan for the bridges to the mainland from the State Department of Transportation. That good news or bad news? Uh, it's neither good nor bad. It's okay. just the reality of dealing with a project that's you know a quarter of a billion dollars in in cost and of a size and scope that's likely to be one of the biggest that we'll ever see in this area. And so when you're going through that size of a project, you need to make sure that you're deliberate in your actions. And doing so means that sometimes you have to push certain dates back to make sure that everybody has all the information that they need. And can we infer from that that uh, they're listening because there's been a lot of input since the original uh, back and forth uh, between folks here on the island and the DOT. Uh, there's been a lot going on since. They're yeah. listening to that. Then, huh? uh, yeah, there's been a number of different meetings that okay. have been held by both the Department of Transportation, by the town, uh, by the 278 Corridor Committee that was created as kind of a work group from all sort of uh, groups with on the island. And so it's been an ongoing process and will continue to be an ongoing process, but it is an opportunity for the public to provide feedback. And that feedback does get incorporated and it does get examined as part of the analysis of this project. If you were uh, making a bet on it, would you put that May date in ink or would you keep it in pen? <laughs> it is certainly still in pencil, okay. uh, but obviously with, with the existing bridge that's deteriorating, yeah. it is a project that at some point in time we do need to move forward with. So it's not uh, one of those infinite things that you can continue to push back. But again, you want to make sure that it's right. And so yeah. if it does take a little bit longer to get to that point, then that's what it's going to be. All right. Uh, during the retreat, uh, such as it was uh, here on the island this past weekend, um, Town councilors talked about, with you all, the plan uh, for the next uh, 20 years or so. Uh, what kind of progress has been made in identifying what the real priorities are there? So we met with town council yeah. on Thursday and Friday of this past right. week, and, and we started with the new comprehensive plan that was recently adopted. Mm -hmm. And that's a very substantial document. It's got a lot of great information <laughs> in there, but the volume of it is such that it's it's really difficult to work with in terms of creating a short-term action plan. And so one of the big goals of this workshop was to sit there and kind of refine a lot of those points to start drilling down to what are those priorities that we want to focus on, at least over the course of the next year, the next two years. And so I think we were fairly successful in being able to do that. The themes that we saw come forward are a lot of the similar themes that we've seen previously. So things like economic development and revitalization, workforce housing and transportation, parks and recreation development. And so those are all familiar topics, but topics that we're going to continue to be working on. And so going from here, uh, we'll be working with town council to identify some specific work plans to develop some accountability and some performance measures metrics as we go forward with implementing those recommendations. Get some shovels on the ground in the not too distant future. That would be good stuff. Uh, Josh, uh, we will continue to be updating in that. Congratulations on getting things settled uh, in town hall. You will become the assistant town manager the next time we talk to you, but still interim town manager. Josh Gruber, thanks so much for joining us. Thanks, Bob.